Hey, y'all, we back. We back and we better. I hope I can remember everything that I was supposed to respond to. But I said, let me come back and thank you. Shout out to Miss Charlotte for giving me a call. Um, I wanted to wait for Brittany and Glam to come off that live. I hope everybody was over there embracing and enjoying and, you know, enjoying and, you know, commenting. But I had to come back. Because, of course, the old bitch, you know, she wants me to respond. Uh, Barnyard Betty, they they love for me to respond to them. So that's what the, I'm going to pull up and I'm going to respond. But these people are such liars, hypocrite, fake bitches in pulpits. Hold on. Hey, the KT, how you doing, baby? Hey, Katrina. Uh, let me see. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Ozella. Hey, Miss LB. Hey, AR girl. Uh, let me put on my glasses. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Pennywise. Hey, Diamond Wise. Hey, Tamika. Hey, uh, LK. Hey, Tamika. Hey, uh, Diamond. Hey, Lori. Hey, Erica. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Chocolate. Hey, Erica. Sharon. Uh, we got Tamika, Pennywise, Veronica, Kenya, Lady Aquarius, Charlene, Lynette, Heart Desire. We are definitely back and we better. Hey, Heart Desires. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Cheryl P. Um, AR Girl, Raw Squad is in the house. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Miss Janice. Hey, Ozella. Hey, Miss LB. Uh, Katrina Wicktail. How you doing, baby? Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, the KT. Welcome, 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 beautiful. Hey, Lady D. Hey, Kenya. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey, Miss Kiji. Hey, uh, Brittany. Brittany, you that came over here. I thought you had to go do something, boo. But hey, welcome, 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 baby. Hey, Erica. Hey, Dana Day. Hey, Peace. Be say I'm jumping back and forth today. Hey, Lauren. Hey, I see you looking. Hey, Lady of Prayers. Hey, Rita Brad. Hey, the real Dion. That's all my sisters. You guys are gonna hear my babies. They just came back in the house. I was able to wash my dishes. I did not sweep or mop yet, but I got my dinner in the oven. I'm making some beef stew meat with some mixed vegetables and some baby carrots over rice because I feel like that will be fulfillment. And I'm going to make my baby some Jiffy cornbread. That's only going to take a minute. So I said, let me come on here and respond to what these old whack ass bitches have to say. Now, this old lady wants me to be upset about perfume. You're immature. Grow the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about them dusty, half empty ass bottles of perfume. Like, I don't understand what you think that does for me. It does absolutely nothing. Then the bitch say that I'm mad about her numbers. That is over for me. You guys, I'm going to post what I made. Because as long as I'm making about $5,000 a month, I'm satisfied if I don't make another dollar. See, these people watch my numbers so close that they think that I trip off their numbers. I don't. I know that if I go live on regular YouTube, I know that YouTube will put my video out there and I will get a lot of views. The old bitch says, when the last time I got over 6K views? Uh, two days ago. 8K, 8, 8, 8K, and I'm not in competition, but I got 8K views the other day when I went live on regular YouTube because those videos, um, they go out a lot faster. But see, this is how I know these bitches watch my numbers and they want to compete with me. Um, I'm If I don't make, never make a dollar over $5,000, I'm satisfied. That's 5,000 extra dollars in my pocket per month for me to spoil my grandbabies like I'm doing right now. See, I'm spoiling my grandbabies right now on spring break off the money that I made last month in March 21st. I'm using that money to spoil my grandkids, right? So if I can get money in April, I'm going to take that money. I'm going to put a couple thousand dollars towards celebrating Day Beyond's graduation, but it's all motherfucking extra. See, and, the, and, and I don't understand why these people want to compete and compare Oh, it's over for you. It's somebody else's turn. No, it ain't never. It's always going to be me. And not that I'm saying it can't never be nobody else. But to me, it's always going to be about me. I'm always going to be that chick. Oh, bitch, whether you say it or not. You say it's over for me. I said it ain't over yet because once I show you that I'm still hitting 5K, you ain't, and that's another thing. Don't nobody else show what they make on social media. And I don't have to make the most. I just said that I'm satisfied with what the fuck I'm making. I don't understand why these people care if it's me or somebody doing worse or better. I don't understand where all that comes from because these bitches are jealous because these people want to compete with me. It's not me wanting to compete with them. It's these bitches wanting to compete with me. Like watching my numbers, trying to see if I'm still lit. Listen, I'm still lit. I'm still that chick.
And I don't give a damn whether you like it or love it's still me. Uh, let me see. How can someone who has responsibility have um, time to count somebody else's money? Look, exactly. Ex but they so pressed. They so pressed about my numbers, what I'm making, what I'm doing. If I seen they numbers, I don't give a fuck about your numbers. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I don't give a fuck about your house. I don't give a fuck about your yard. I just fuck with you because you come here and say that I can't. Because you come here and you compete and compare. So I say, bitch, put the money where your motherfucking mouth is. If you have a yard beautiful, <laughs> show it, ho. Because, see, I've already shut Barnyard Betty down. That bitch could never. She don't even give a fuck that people know she live in a raggedy-ass barn. She'll never show it. She'll never prove me the fuck wrong <laughs> because that bitch knows that she can't. And she don't got not one relative that she could pretend that that's her motherfucking house because everybody live like poor black trash. Uh-huh. Uh, that drunk make me sick. Cheer me too. She makes me sick too with her bald head ass. Somehow she got here. Bitch, you're bald headed. I'm I'm convinced that the old bitch is in denial. Like you're in denial. I don't give a fuck if I lose a hundred strands. My hair is long, bitch. It's not bald headed like you. It, it's not. You got that little bitty thin hair, bitch. You're bald headed. Fat neck, funky. You don't look like you did in that picture. Uh, you don't. Uh, yep, yep, still lit. So stop checking, whores. Let me pin you. Still lit, but they like, oh, uh, she's not lit no more. It's not her. We tired of watching her win. We don't care who it is as long as it's not her. Bitch, it's still me. It's still me. And that's why you bitches keep talking about me. That's why you bitches still got my name in your motherfucking raggedy ass ball mouth. Because it's still about me, bitch. Ain't that some shit? Hey, Anita Roberts. How you doing, baby? Hey, Ozella. And somebody said, oh, she needs to tell her daughter to pay for her to get uh, some tutoring because she's read like if I don't give a fuck how I read. I read well enough <laughs> to hold a motherfucking audience down. I read well enough uh, to have people come over here and engage. I read well enough to have a little bit of success on social media. I do well enough for my motherfucking self. And these bitches, she gonna say she not charging her kids for being an amazing mother, right? I'm not charging mine either, bitch. But if my daughters want to show appreciation to me, I'm not going to motherfucking stop them. See, I'm not going to motherfucking stop them. But if you decide that your old ass don't need nothing else, bitch, that's you. We are not the same. I don't understand why you feel like what works for you works for me, bitch. We are two separate individuals. When I say grow the fuck up, old bitch, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. You think that your way is the only way and it's individuals and we are free to do shit our motherfucking way, bitch. See, we're not the same. You said what you would do with your kids. That's you and your motherfucking kids, bitch. Keyword, you. I don't understand why you give a fuck what I got going on over here with mine. It ain't got nothing. It ain't gonna take a piece of bread off your motherfucking table. It's not gonna affect you in no type of way, shape, or form. And this is the motherfucking problem. You bitches so worried about what the fuck I got going on, what the fuck my children got going on, that you can't even focus on what the fuck you got going on. Because I don't give a fuck what your ugly ass kids do for you. I don't give a fuck what Barnyard Betty, black, crispy, ugly motherfucking kids do for her. I don't come on here and talk about that. I'm only here to respond with you raggedy bitches got the same. And like I said, it do, I don't give a fuck what you charge. If you charge, if you don't charge, I ain't came on here. I don't, it don't make me no motherfucking difference. It don't make me no, never mind. And what I got going on with my kids, I'm just showing you know, sharing my story. It's not here for you to say, oh, she charging her kids. I would never charge. I'm not charging my motherfucking kids. But see, this old bitch always want to say things and make it sound bad because it's, it's me. This bitch like, yo, you talked your kids into buying motherfucking RVs on wheels, bitch. See, I could get up here and tell, I would tell my daughter, don't you buy no motherfucking tractor trailer. If you're going to spend your money, 
spend your money on something that you're going to be proud of because you're going to be ashamed to live in a tractor trailer just like they raggedy ass mama was ashamed. But they like $50,000 and I can have my forever home, bitch. <laughs> okay. fifty dollars Sell yourself cheap, bitch. Uh, how can some, I don't know. Uh, Miss Faye Kelly say, uh, the real Dion NYC good even a beautiful hope all is well with you and yours. Much love. Sharon, let me pin you right there, beautiful. In the safe zone. Hey, boo, again. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Perfume. Um, I buy perfume and i am tired of it in a few months um i just end up buying something else most women have an abundance of perfume this is how ignorant this bitch is this is how ignorant i it's something i was on here having a good conversation with y'all ain't worried about this bitch numbers ain't worried about this whole views ain't worried about this old bitch perfumes ain't worried about a motherfucking thing i came here and said this bitch cannot show a manicured yard this bitch cannot show nothing to prove me wrong about this bitch living in a filthy ass trailer park environment you know, and come to find out this bitch is harboring trash on her yard. Like, how disgusting. We know what trash attracts, right? So I said the bitch can't show us because she ashamed. She only want to show us at night. Just like Barnyard Betty, they want to do everything in the dark because they know that in the daytime, we will see the real reality of the nasty, disgusting environment that both those hoes live in. Different states, but same motherfucking environments, right? They come on this motherfucker and I say that and then this bitch want to twist it around because she wants to soothe the truth. She don't want to pay attention to the truth. She want me to be tripped off her bitch. Let me say this. I will never trip off your old dilapidated ass, your fat, funky, uh, nasty, stinking, looking like you, a big, fat, sweaty pig. I will never trip off you, bitch. You will never be the idea of being jealous. I don't give a fuck what you got going on, bitch. I look at you in disgust. You disgust me, pink pig. You disgust me, bitch. <laughs> how you live, how you look, who you're married to, your ugly ass Everything about you disgusts me, bitch. So I don't understand why you think that you are anything to trip on. But let me just let you know, newsflash, bitch, I would never trip on you. It's so many motherfuckers in this world that I could trip on, bitch. You would be the last motherfucker. You and Barnyard Betty, I would never trip on you disgusting pieces of shit as bitches never. Never, ever, ever. It won't be you, bitch. So get that out your motherfucking head, right? I came on here because I have facts to state. And like the fuck I said, you will never show it. Because you don't want people to see how nasty you are. Like we seen that nasty motherfucking room that you wanted to show us, bitch. It backfired. Holes in the doors and everything, bitch. We seen this screenshot it. That nasty motherfucking house. We seen it, bitch. <laughs> this why you won't show that yard because you don't want us to screenshot it because you know it's motherfucking equally disgusting is that motherfucking house just like barnyard betty nasty but you want me to trip off something about bitch please hold on Okay, sorry, you guys. Yeah, but this bitch, oh, she mad. Bitch, I wish the fuck I would be mad about anything about your motherfucking existence. Bitch, you ain't nothing for me to be pressed about, ho, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, let Mr. C uh, come live, uh, come live. Uh, your views will mount up and his last words. Exactly. Black Remy Ma say, kitty lover, that's what I'm. Hold on, baby. Let me see what you said because it moved. At least say, Mr. C. Oh, let Mr. C come live. Uh, let me see live. Your views will mount up and his last words. Uh, Roz, that old lady is jealous of you. Oh, Zella, she is. Uh, Faye Kelly say, Pennywise, good evening. Uh, where was I at? Hey, Johnny Jacobs again. Uh, thank you guys for coming back. Hey, Anita, Anetta Williams, uh, Pink Pig. Dion, the pinkest pig. Hey, Feast Courtney's, how you doing, baby? Uh, hey, my beautiful Sharon Leatherwood. That is Antoinette Williams. Uh, she is a hoarder, period, period, point blank. Mad because I'm not, bitch. I like spaces. I like my shit to be hoard, uh, uh, clutter free. Uh, let me see. Welcome to the live stream. Like, share, subscribe. Member badges available. Super chat and super stickers are available as well. Thank you. Uh, she's a person that's not used to having nice shit at all. 
all, at all, Brad, you know, motherfucking perfume. Uh, Ross, that perfume is rank. It's rank. It's red. It's rank. It's rank. Uh, let me see. Black Remy Ma. Uh, good evening, beautiful. Much love. That's Miss Faye Kelly. Let me go up, you guys. Uh, Feast Courtney's is speaking to Sharon Leatherwood. Hey, boo. Uh, Dad's one short of a six pack. Say, okay, I'm here again. I'm trying to keep up. Keep up, boo. Hey, Miss Janice. Miss Faye Kelly speaking to um, Annette Williams. Uh, Sharon say, Roz and laughing. I'm just like, the conversation is so immature, right? I'm like, don't tell, listen, do what you want to do with your child, but don't try to weaponize what I do with mine. I would never charge my children. I love my children. And I know the people that know me know that, right? The people that matter, they already know what time it is. This is why I'm over here uh, doing what I'm doing with my grandbaby because it's for free. But if my kids grow up and become very successful and they want to pour into me, okay, Okay, if I'm a if I if I'm if I'm up to accepting it, I will. Not only will I accept the token of appreciation, I will be thankful. You know what I'm saying? But that's me, and I'm not gonna make people feel bad because they would do things different. We're just not the same, right? Uh, hey, Princess Strickland, how you doing? You speaking to Miss Faye Kelly? Let me dress, uh, come down. Hey, Lena, uh, they are so jealous, Ross. Ar girl, let me pin you. Let me pin you because I don't understand. Uh, CC at BYB. Oh, my good. And then, listen, BYB wants to talk through. Um, to, oh, she was sitting her fat. I'm not as fat as you, big CC. I, I'm not as big as you. So every time you call me fat, bitch, just know that you're fatter. <laughs> just know that we saw your wide ass today with them titties hanging to your knees, bitch, and you're bigger. Talking about why she always going to the doctor. Didn't I tell you guys that my hip was bothering me? Did, that, that was my, you know, I got such good health care providers and such good medical coverage through my job that my doctors, they're going to call me in and examine my knee because they were telling me that it may be arthritis. But my doctor want me to come back in so she can recheck it because it bothers me from time to time, right? Um, not because I'm evil, because I'm getting older. But they say, oh, she's so evil. She's the type of person that a pinch your baby. No, bitch, that's you, old bitch. You only like Riley's white ass. But bitch, you a pinch a little black baby. Oh, tell Barnyard Betty. And, and that's another thing. It's so funny that Barnyard Betty and Big CC, they come together online. But Big CC don't trust Barnyard Betty motherfucking ass enough for that hoe to visit. That bitch was like, can we come to Roxborough to give you a surprise party? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to keep this relationship right here on YouTube. Big CC don't trust you, you thieving ass bitch. She don't care how much you guys come on this motherfucker to go against me. That bitch don't trust you enough, Barnyard Betty, you thieving even ass bitch. Uh, my mother and father uh, charged me rent 11 months after graduation and undergrad. But when I got this house, they gave me the money for a down payment. I know that's right, Lucinda. I know that's right, honey. And listen, y'all, if I needed to, I could charge my children rent. When my oldest daughter was here and she was working, she was contributing to the household because she was an adult. That had a child. See, Davion and Joel still working in school and doing their thing, so they got some wiggle room. But if I need them to cover some shit or buy some groceries, they will too, Lucinda. It all goes hand in hand. Not that I'm charging them, but if you're not, I mean, if you're here and you're working and you have an income and you see a need to help, then it's okay to help, right? It's okay to help. That bitch can't make me feel bad about nothing. Uh, Sonia Donna say off camera, um, I bet her and her granddaughter stay into it. The way she was acting, doing her hair. Did you see that evil bitch? Hang up the phone. Tell him you, she's so scared that granddaughter gonna say something and expose her wicked ass. See, my grandbabies can talk freely whether I'm on this motherfucking internet or not because I don't have to hide nothing. Ain't no neglect. Ain't no secrets. I may try to keep a private life, but I ain't ashamed of nothing. That old bitch so motherfucking ashamed she don't want them people to accidentally talk while the motherfucking camera is rolling because she like, oh my God, we a bunch of drunks. We argue. We say all type of shit. I'm living a motherfucking lie. I don't want nobody to say shit. She was acting like a goddamn tyrant like an angry ass bull a rabbit motherfucking pig when that girl was on that phone hang up uh, Dave I'm late hey Sony Dave you alright baby we only been here for 
19 minutes. You okay? I'm going to stay for about 40 minutes and then I'm going to go, um, you know, finish maintaining and taking care of my babies. Uh, Erica say, Big CC, you have absolutely nothing in that funeral home. Let me say this loud and clear. Hold on, Erica. And let me read it carefully so I can let these hoes hear what the fuck Erica got to say. Big CC, get this through your thick, fat, funky ass head. Big CC, you don't have absolutely not one motherfucking thing, not a, a perfume bottle, not a Christmas ornament. I'm adding that in it. That in that funeral home, because that's what the fuck it looked like, to make anybody, not even the motherfucking roaches crawling on your walls, bitch, jealous of anything that you have, you big sweaty Holder, hoarder. Let me pin. Let me pin that because bi this bitch. And isn't it frustrating to have a bitch <laughs> that you know ain't got shit to be jealous of? Keep saying that you're mad about something. Bitch, quit lying on me. Why you gotta lie on me? Bitch, don't say I'm mad about something that I'm not motherfucking mad at. Get off your ass and clean up and f that foxhole or your head. <laughs> Brittany, I'll just see your message. Listen. Listen, y'all, it's so frustrating to have a hoe call you something and you know, oh, she's jealous of my perfume. And why would I be? Why would, why would your perfume affect me? Why? I got my own bitch. Do you know how many times every time a Mother's Day, a Valentine's Day, my birthday, all this shit come around? You know what my kids run to? Even my daughter-in-laws. You know what I got so many of? House shoes robes, perfumes. I got so much of that shit. They don't even give me the opportunity to use the shit they just bought me prior. Sometimes I have to tell my babies, can y'all get creative? See, Mac Myron, Myron bought me, uh, the, what's the oven thing called? What is that thing called, Kylie? It's the thing that cooks the stuff. Myron bought different shit, right? He bought me a foot massager. Now, I ain't going to tell y'all I still ain't opened that goddamn foot massager, and he bought it for me a couple years ago, but he bought it for me. He bought me a, a the, the the oven thing. My son would buy me things. You know, he bought me a a, 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 a glass rose that I could keep forever, but Majine, Davion, Joel, Sequoia, Nene, you know what they bought me? House shoes, perfume, robes, pajamas. I'm like, y'all gonna have to get a little bit creative. But Majine will go buy me moo's, y'all. She know I love moo's, so she'll go buy those. But you know how much of that shit I got? Y'all know how much bed and bath shit I got? I have to go buy motherfucking containers to keep the shit in because I ran out of counter space for all the bed bath shit. And what you all do? Go to bed bath and buy me some more goddamn lotions and shit. I got too much of it. And then I have allergies. So a lot of this shit I can't wear because it make my nose itch. So, you know, like, bitch, why would I give a fuck about your shit? I got perfume, Burberry, Chanel. I ain't even opened the... Listen, listen, Big CC. It's no reason for nobody to give a fuck. You're 70. We expect you to have that shit. And we know for a fact that you're a hoarder. So we have we 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 know that you're gonna have a lot of that dusty shit, right? Okay. Uh Black Remy Ma say real Dion NYC that took me out of uh, the oil lamb. I haven't seen them since my grandmother was living. Ooh, Black Remy Ma. She got a whole bunch of old shit. She needs to go, you know, she probably got something that's worth something. I don't know. It's just like a junkyard treasure hunt, right? Uh, she's upset because of that albino baby. Ooh, you think she mad about that albino baby? You can't tell her shit about that little Caucasian looking baby, honey. Uh, he doesn't have uh, two bottles of cologne and his wait a minute. He doesn't have two bottles of cologne and he's 80. Do better, bitch. Ooh, Elise. He ain't got shit, but he don't give a fuck about smelling good. Look at Robert. Robert don't give a fuck about looking good, smelling good, nothing. He just want to get out there with the crackheads and rip and run the street so he could trick with the fiends, right? He want to get a fiends five and ten dollars to touch his uh, limp dick noodle. Uh, let me see. They so jealous, Ross. They are so jealous, AR girl. And, and it's so sad because they, they don't mind showing their jealousy. And then they want to turn around like I'm upset. Bitch, I don't have a reason to be upset. I know how to get views on this motherfucker. I know what my check is looking like uh, come April 20 motherfucking first bitch please
Bitch, please. Like, do better, bitch. Do better, bitch. It's not a motherfucker walking this earth that I feel like I have to be tripped up on. I'm so satisfied with my life. I'm so okay with how things are going in my life, even with the problems that I have. I'm still so satisfied, you guys, because I know that with faith and, you know, just believing in God, I know that I'll be just fine. Um, How far is it? I heard. Of, let me see. How far is it heard about the albino baby? Oh, wow. Let me see. Uh, Patrice say no, no, and they, they would never uh, live in a trailer. Only the best for those girls because that's how you raise them. Uh, they got too much class to live in a barn or a trailer. Miss Patrice Love, thank you for realizing that. Thank you for recognizing that in me because they would never. They would never, I would never even influence my children. But see, Big CC want to go cheap, cheap, cheap. So she influenced her kids. Now she's trying to influence her granddaughter. Everybody get a motherfucking $50,000 trailer. No, how about getting a $400 and better $1,000 home that you could be proud of, that you could build on, that you can have equity in? I heard that the trailers, you can't even pull no money out of them because they don't uh, accumulate equity the, the way a real home does right but she want them hoes to sell they self cheap just keep all your money for your nigga take care of the man girl but don't invest in a home invest in a motherfucking trailer and she could probably be mad at her sisters because maybe they have homes maybe they got homes and she couldn't get a home i don't know but i just know that i'm see big cc what happened what is that myron, myron stop uh, big CC, she wants to judge everybody for who she is. See, you a bitch that's full of jealousy and hate and envy. You're full of that shit. Don't mean that I am. Don't mean that how I, that's how I operate in my life. Just because this is how you run your life, Big CC, we're not the same. Like, don't judge me for who the fuck you are. Like, I'm not that person. Uh, Mr. C going to have a going away party. Them folks want to know, uh, since you claim you love him, ooh, Elise, is she going to give him a, a going away party? Probably not. Uh, that perfume is old in that trailer. And guess what, y'all? I wouldn't trust Robert, not even if I was her, because he's never loved and respected her. If they sense this motherfucker, he wouldn't come back to my house. Because ain't no telling what the fuck he may do knowing that he got to go to jail, right? So I know what I would do. I would go be with my children. <laughs> I would keep a lot of people around. And Big CC, this is for your best interest. I would not spend the last night with this motherfucker if he know he got to go turn his old cripple ass in. You better be careful, fat bitch. Uh, in the same zone, say, hey, Miss Faye Kelly, today was a good day, love. Um, How are you doing? How are you doing, baby? Uh, Black Remy Ma is speaking and Sharon Leatherwood. Hey, beautiful. Uh, hit the like button. Thank you, Toy G. Uh, in the same zone. Good evening, beautiful lady. Hope all is well with you and yours. Much love. Um, Elise will say and want to be rich and do something uh, to your hair, poor albino. Exactly. Tomorrow she ain't bald-headed, bitch. I beg the differ. I beg the motherfucking differ. You look pretty bald-headed to me. And it ain't nothing. I mean, hey, everybody don't have a lot of hair. It's okay. I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying the reality of it all is that you don't have no motherfucking hair, bitch. Like, that's the truth. I don't know why these bitches like a lie. Why these bitches like to be lied to? Please, if you don't, if you can't tell me the truth, don't tell me shit. I'm not asking for nobody to come in here and lie to me. If I'm bald headed, I'm bald headed. If I'm fat, I'm fat. It's okay. I got to live with self. But these bitches want to be lied to. Girl, your hair long. Where? Did you look at the same fat bitch I seen on the screen? Because the same bad bitch I was looking at, she got an itty bitty hair. Itty bitty motherfucking hair. And it's okay. But don't lie. Ain't no motherfucking length to that bald head, thin ass hair. Ain't no length to that shit. Uh, she needs to be checked um, in some woman to work for real, for real. Shahara. And then these bitches are such hypocrites, right? Now, they in here right now, listening to me, watching me, probably even going to press rewind because the bitches take notes so they can cover everything that I've said. But because I watch YouTube and I keep up with what's going on, I'm not, I can't do nothing else. I'm just so obsessed with YouTube. Bitch like you ain't.
Like Barnyard Betty ain't in this motherfucker right now, uh, twirling her bald head hat, twisting her lip, clicking her motherfucking heels, wishing she was somewhere else, listening to me right motherfucking now. That's what the bitch is doing. But I'm not doing no different, but it's something wrong with what I got going on. No, the fuck is not. If I got time, like I said, I wash my dishes. I put my dinner in the motherfucking oven. My babies are playing. I'm waiting on Nene to get here and Sequoia to bring cash. And we maxing and relaxing. And if I got downtime to sit in front of my laptop and do a motherfucking video, that's my motherfucking prerogative. It does not mean that I'm any more obsessed with social media and knowing what the fuck is going on any than anybody else. It's, listen, we all do the same shit. Them bitches watch me like I peek in and watch them. Let's keep it. I mean, what bitch? Why lie? Lie for what, bitch? I don't understand. I let Mr. C. Ooh, let me see. She'll never let. She don't want that Mr. Uh, Carver. She don't want him to say a motherfucking thing. He, she know that he will expose her. <laughs> she know that she's walking around representing a motherfucking lie. A motherfucking lie. Uh, Black women might say, kitty lover, that's what I said. Big nasty hoarder. Exactly. Big funky nasty ass hoarder is exactly who she is. And Barnyard Betty is another filthy bitch. Like, I don't understand. I don't want to live in not one community where you have to dispose of your own trash. Like if you got to burn your trash, that, listen, I don't want to do that. And I know some people want to do it. I just say, I don't want to do it because that could be messy as fuck. Like trash. Ugh. Uh, Roz, that old lady is jealous of you. Oh, Zella, we already know. And as much as she say she ain't, the things that she do make us feel like she is, right? Like I, listen, she ain't never told me she jealous. It's the actions that she does that make me realize she is just, Oh, excuse me. Just like I said, I don't have to talk about these people. I can move on. I've moved on from talking about these bitches. What they do, bring my motherfucking name up every day. And then when I react, they say, oh, she's evil. She's wicked. She just want to tear a woman down. Well, what the fuck is y'all doing to me? You want me to, you want me to allow you to tear me down and you don't want me to rebuttal you don't want me to come on here and say something because that makes me different from you no bitch listen i i told you hoes move the fuck along you bitches oh she could talk about trees but she don't want us talking about her even bitch i just said if i'm not talking about you leave me the fuck alone if you don't want to leave me the fuck alone then be prepared for me to dog walk your ass bitch that's all you got to understand this is what i'm going to pull up and do I don't even understand why you're so surprised that this is what the fuck I'm choosing to do. You bitches fuck with me. It's all you bitches and one of me and I'm knocking you bitches out one by one. Starting with Barnyard Betty. Starting with that bitch, that, the, the liar, the biggest liar. The filthiest living. <laughs> the bitch that I love to laugh at because everything about that bitch life is motherfucking disgusting. This is why she can let the filthy shit come out her motherfucking mouth. Because that bitch ain't got nothing to look forward to. That bitch ain't get receiving flowers from her children. Gives token of love nothing. And she ain't giving nothing. And this is why we don't see not one picture. Easter or birthday of that little ugly ass grandson. Because them bitches don't even love on each other. But that's how that bitch. That's how she do her kids. And I'm going to stay dog walking that bitch. Uh, Roz, uh, did you guys see uh, that big old Christmas wreath? Ooh, uh, she had hanging on one of the room doors in the house when she, yes, we did, Antoinette. We see, Liz, she need to take that motherfucker down. But see, she don't got a decent garage to store all that shit. So she say, fuck it. I'm going to leave it up all year round. Like, oh, pathetic ass bitch. Uh, let me see. Kenny Lover say uh, they use that as an excuse to come for you. Let me, let me stop right here. Not drain the jaws. <laughs> uh, let me see. Kitty Lover say they use that as an excuse to come for you. That lady has been talking about you for how long now? And then when you finally uh, give it back, you're wrong. They really full of ish. They definitely are. Because just a couple weeks ago, I said, I'm not reacting to this old bitch no more. Every motherfucking day this bitch came on live talking about bumpy night. Bumpy Johnson, my grandma, my mama, my my son, any 
anything this filthy mouth bitch can think about saying to arise a motherfucking response from me to get some type of attention from me but I'm tripping on you no bitch you tripped up on me and now I'm dog walking your ass, bitch, with your reality. You're filthy. We're not impressed with how you live, Robert. He settled your raggly ass for cheap, very inexpensive. And you settled, bitch, and now your life is almost over. Now it's, and, and you ain't got nothing to look forward to, bitch. That's the reality. And you're mad because I'm not afraid to say it, ho. That's what you're mad at, bitch. Uh, let's see your paperwork. Uh, do you own your house? No, I don't own my house, but I live in this motherfucker like it's mine. Like it's mine, baby. And I'm going to continue to live in this motherfucker like it's mine, baby. And you bitches are going to be mad about it. So when you drop in here to give me a com a comment, just think it's not mine, but I'm going to treat it like it's mine, bitch. Uh, go back to doing arts and craft and make, tell that bitch to go build some wreaths. I just blocked them Pennywise. Uh, both of them are jealous of you, Ross, Big C, C, and B, Y, B, Patrice. I got to pin you. That's the obvious motherfucking truth. And they get mad when we say it, but it's so obvious because both them hoes show it. And they link up and click up be all because of the hate that they have for me. That's what they motherfucking audience do, too. They audience is over there because of me. When them hoes quit talking about me, some of that audience is going to be gone. Gonna be gone. I got a lot of bitches jealous of me. This why I don't leave out my front door without that iron, bitch. Because I know you hate for hoes. Would love to try to do something to me. But I got another thing motherfucking coming. Uh, hey, Roz. Uh, we're back to chop them up, Brenda. We back. Um, oil in her hair uh, like she was about to get that hair hooked up. All them ugly ass ponytails. All them ugly ass ponytails. That bitch is, listen. That bitch is boozy. Her granddaughter was wrong for doing that ugly ass shit. Um, Erica, don't you think she needs um, a 2024 um hairstyle and her granddaughter fixed her her granddaughter fixed her at least? The granddaughter really, I don't know if it's a rocks girl thing, but to me, they super booty, California, super boozy. California is a little bit more. I think Atlanta got beautiful hairdos too, but Roxboro, they just got real boozy, basic. I don't know. They just really plain Jane to me, right? A uh, pink pig take their husband out to eat before he leaves for jail and leave Roz alone, bitch. Exactly. Can you take this time to be with your man? Can you go find something else to do? Because just like you responded to me, I'm responding to you. Nothing more, nothing motherfucking less. Like these people be in motherfucking denial. Uh, she said uh, she likes the internet and don't watch TV. That bitch can't take her her eyeballs off motherfucking social media. She like, is my numbers gonna grow? Am I gonna get there, bitch? I'm still in the lead. These hoes act like they got more than 15K subscribers. <laughs> they act like I got a reason to be tripped up on them. I'm still winning. I mean, if they wanna, you know, if they wanna measure the motherfucking success, I'm still in the motherfucking lead. This bitch say it's over for me, bitch. I don't see not one motherfucker over here in this sector bypass me. <laughs> not chat. Not chat, bitch. <laughs> and it damn sure ain't gonna be you, Big CC, or Born Yard Betty. I think uh somebody was saying that Miss Loretta was almost at 15k. Great, but it ain't them two bitches. It ain't them, you bitches ain't there and never will get there. I don't think you bitches is going to get there anytime soon. Like, bitch, please. Uh, let me see. Ozella, big CC, that's princess. Uh, she got all that fragrance from Bumpy Johnson Warehouse. Ooh, baby. Is that where the bitch got it from? I know that um, trailer has a stench. Sharon, you know that, that. Listen, you know that trailer got a motherfucking stench. It listen, it's too motherfucking cluttered to not. I don't give a fuck if it's mildew, if it's goddamn what your moth balls. That listen, it's something. Oh, it's a stench. <laughs> it's definitely a stench. And what she say they got stink bugs, bitch, only in the motherfucking country. What the fuck is a stink bug, y'all? That's the, the hillbillyest shit I've ever heard. Stink, but I don't like them stink bugs. Bitch, gross. Uh, let me see. A clear line and um, is the style of Feng Shui. What a <laughs> Feng Shui. What happened? Uh, let me see. Mary uh, Brown say Big CC say Robert was dealing with 
crackheads, yeah, uh, to hear her tell it. Uh, they were probably uh, were crackheads, just uh, looked better than her, but didn't want him. Exactly. And, and like Glamden was just saying, he probably still got him another woman. He probably been having another woman forever. Because that other woman, she don't want nothing but a few dollars from his old dilapidated ass. Big CeCe has set up with this man cheating on him forever. Sharon Johnson, you up on the screen. You look so beautiful. Now that's what beauty looks like. Look at that. Uh, look at your hair. It's so pretty. Uh, let me see. Let me go up. Uh, Erica say big CC anybody can go to Walgreens and buy perfume Erica I am loving your anybody big CC anybody can go to Walmart and buy perfume anybody can go to Walmart and buy a set of sheets and like this bitch is not doing nothing that can't nobody else do step your game up and go to Nemas Marcus if you want to try to impress us Erica I got to pin you boo I got to put you right there because bitch can you go get some shit that we can't do can you go tell us some extraordinary shit that we can't do for ourselves because bitch you're not doing nothing and it would like I said it would be better if you came here and told people what you regret and to do motherfucking better this bitch gonna tell me she trying to show me how to eat with my mouth closed Bitch, you ain't got to worry about how I eat because I'm not eating with you. See, you got to mind the motherfucking business that pays you, bitch, because how I chew, how I swallow, how I eat ain't. Listen, why do you make that your problem? Why do you make that a necessity for you to even trip up on? It ain't got nothing to do with you. Not nothing. I, I don't give a fuck how you eat. I just know one day you talked about how I ate and then you came on camera and how you sounded chewing was utterly motherfucking disgusting. And so we talked about it. I don't give a fuck. It was just worthy of a conversation because like I said, it was gross. It was extremely gross. <laughs> It was extremely gross. Hey, Sharon, you doing all that trying to show me something, bitch? And that's probably not even really how you eat. You just to say any motherfucking thing to try to paint a picture that you're better. But, bitch, you ain't no better than me, ho. You ain't no better. And let me tell y'all something else what these bitches can't do. Now, Barnyard Betty, she can do it sometime. But them other hoes ain't getting 500 people in their motherfucking chat. Not on a regular basis, but I do this shit every time I pull the fuck up. This is low for me, bitch. I could push up to almost 700 people. And you bitches want to get mad, but that's the reality. Let's talk about the facts of what motherfucking happened, bitch. Y'all said, and I'm just saying that, that I don't see nobody else doing it. Barnyard Betty, she's, listen, people falling off from her. Yes, baby. What y'all doing? You know you got lunch meat or you want something to snack on? Oh, you have pizza? Okay, baby. Okay, I just want to make sure you guys are good. Ask my Lonnie, do she want a popsicle? Let me see. My Lonnie, you want a popsicle? Y'all be cracking up. Let me drop down, y'all. Uh, let me see. Kitty Lover say, yes, Nemus Mark is, is definitely a flex. My son works there. Unless you got a lot of money, laugh out loud. Everything is expensive. Exactly. Everything is high. Uh, let me see. I don't know where that person is. Um... Melissa, uh, she had, hold on, let me see. Uh, let me stop right here on Feast Knees. Uh, Erica say, yo, yo, I'm staying um, off the chain. Exactly. Feast with Cornice. Say, Sonia Day. Uh, they be in uh, the deep woods way in that country because in the city or the East Coast, including, uh, let me see, the sea don't have them. Oh, wow. Uh, all kind of dust on those toilet water uh, bottles. CC, you're dirty. Uh, just um, like your sidekick be. BYB, exactly. Uh, Dad McNeil say, as Sony Day, um, I live in Pennsylvania, and there was an, uh, let me see, epidemic of those damn things a few years ago, and now um, it's a lantern, oh, lantern flies, okay. I don't know what a stink bug is. Uh, she had that food crumble all in the corner of her mouth, big nasty. Yeah, she was. Shit was falling all out of her mouth. She was trying to eat, you know, she was trying to show me something and she wasn't even comfortable with eating so you know it was an act you know it wasn't her comfortable way of eating every day and why the fuck was she watching him like that I'm like Ugh. And that breakfast looked so motherfucking disgusting and I don't care 
It's not something I would eat, but I'm just like, ugh. And Robert couldn't cook me a motherfucking thing. I would have to look at his nails on his hands. I'm sure, listen, Robert just don't seem like a clean man to me. Uh, go eat Robert tonight. <laughs> uh, she gave that perfume. Uh, she got that perfume from that flea market. Ooh, Deb. Uh, Ross speaking big facts. Thank you, Miss Janice. Speak, Ross. I got you. Um, I got to um, change my picture. You look so pretty. Sharon, I love that picture. Thank you, Miss Janice. Uh, Denise Wallace say hey Ross and squad and Chad late um hit the like button thank you baby Black Remy Ma Sam hmm. uh, Tiffany Hall say run it up Ross uh, make them more jealous I am I am and I'm gonna post what I make because I ain't no shame in my game I didn't hit five thousand but I'm like three hundred dollars away from five thousand and I'm so satisfied I'm so mother I don't understand why these people think that I give a fuck about what they got going on I don't. And I'm going to tell y'all another thing that YouTube do. Now, YouTube give us all those views if we go live straight from our YouTube app, right? But those views don't add up to how it is on, like, you can make more money off the other views than you do on YouTube views. It's weird, right? Like, Big CC, show us if you made $100 on any of those videos. I bet the fuck you didn't. Uh, let me see exactly, Sharon J. Um, it's too close. It's too close then. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Erica um, Johnson say all Big CC had to do was to move along and stop speaking on our heavenly nephew, Magmire, but she couldn't. So Ross pulled up and dog walked the hell out of that pissy old drunk. Exactly. Erica, you seen the play? It seemed like when I told her I was walking away, when I wasn't going to respond to her, I didn't give a fuck what she said. She brought my son up in the most crucial evil way possible. Don't know what happened. Don't know the story, but will accuse me of sending my son to his death. That's the most wickedest thing anybody could say a mother did to their child. But this bitch will say it and then try to say, I'm evil. No, bitch, you're evil. You're evil, bitch, because I don't even want to speak on the deceased. Although sometimes I get so pissed that I will because these hoes won't stop. But this is what this bitch did. This bitch attacked my deceased son so vulgar, so bad, all because I was ignoring this bitch, all because I was through with the conversation with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like how, like Big CC, you not fooling us. You not, you not, people not fooling, uh, not thinking that I'm fucking with you, bitch. Them people are lying to you. They know just like I know who the motherfucking aggressor is in this motherfucking conversation. People know who did what, bitch. But now I'm here to tell you, you are motherfucking disgusting, bitch. And if I got to pull up every motherfucking day and tell you that and laugh at your big drunk, stupid yellow, look so different from 24 motherfucking ass, I am. You going to feel real depleted fucking with me, bitch. But this what the fuck you wanted. This is what you begged me to come motherfucking do. So here the fuck I am, bitch, deal with it. Uh, she's so smart, she dumb, arguing with bots. Exactly. Arguing with motherfucking robots. Um, I'm from Atlanta, and yes, we rock the cute hairstyles. Yes, y'all do, Sonia. Yes, y'all do, honey. I wanted to come to Atlanta just for a hairdo. Uh, let me see. Uh, Sharon Johnson say, in California, after being on a lease for a long time, uh, that money uh, paid can go for a down payment on that house. It will. I've been here for a while, and I know I could have took my money, but my credit, having all these kids, I was never able to come up with that much money for a down payment. I think I can now. I've been able to save a pretty penny just from being on social media, you guys. So I don't know what my daughter plans is after the month of May, but maybe we'll pull something off. But I am definitely saving because I have poured a lot of money here. But the reason why I did it is because purchasing a home that I wanted, I could not do it alone, right? I couldn't do it alone. And now I'm in a position where I can have a second person go in with me, but I wasn't because my babies were little and they were still in school. I uh, didn't know we was back. Hey, Lady Roz Mata Chat. Hey, yo, yo, I am her. Uh, you drunk, ain't you? And Roz uh, body chain of these hoes. Fuck them. I'm a big woman too, y'all. But I'm not as big as Big CC. Big CC is definitely fatter than me. I'm 209. 
209 pounds. I consider myself thick as a snicker. And I don't care if these people say she ain't thick as a snicker. Bitch, I didn't ask you for your motherfucking opinion. I didn't ask you for your motherfucking approval. I am who the fuck I say I am. And that's what the fuck I know of anybody out there. We not asking for motherfucking permission. We not asking bitches to approve us and tell us who we are. No, we tell bitches who we are. <laughs> we say who the fuck we are, right? And that's what them bitches don't like about me. But whatever, whatever. Uh, let me see. Lawanda say, uh, blankly showed their jealousy all day, every day, shaking my goddamn head. Exactly. They do it proudly, but they act like we don't see it. No, we see a barnyard Betty, ugly bitch, the ugliest bitch with the ugliest kids, live in the ugliest house. <laughs> that bitch get all type of awards from me. Disgusting. That bitch get all type of awards from me. Honey, that steak in that oven smells so good. Hey, Tiffany Hall. Hey, Roz Lafer here. Hey, boo. As long as you uh, live in your house, it's yours. Exactly. And that's how Mr. and Mrs. Wong, they allowed me to be here so comfortably. I am so here. I'm here comfortable. Those them people don't bother me. I don't have noise complaints and my neighbors love me. Like those people, they all right with me. I've given them stability to have consecutive money coming in their house like clockwork. You think they finna bother me? and I clean and I keep everything together. I don't have a yard full of trash like BYB. <laughs> I don't have all that uh, trash around my house like Big CC and BYB nasty ass. It's no reason for them people not to be happy with me. They're going to forever remember me. Uh, that's your house as long as you have a lease, dummy. Exactly, Solo Dolo. And they want to say, oh, Joelle got the house and that ain't her house. Anything to try to take away the fact that this is mine. You know how old Joel was when I moved here? I moved here in 2009, almost 15 years ago. Joel was 10 years old. How the fuck could Joel get a lease in his name? But see, these bitches don't think they don't comprehend what the fuck they're saying. They just say it because it sounds good. Just like Barnyard Betty telling people what happened to my son. And this bitch is all these thousands of hundreds of miles away. She don't know. And how the fuck you gonna take one side of a biased story and twist it as if it's the truth. Bitch, it ain't the truth just because them bitches say it. It ain't the truth just because I got my version of what I think is the truth. And I wasn't there, but I was closer to the incident than Barnyard Betty. But all these bitches that hate me, they want to take the information and run with it because it makes them feel better to hold on to the truth than to stand with the motherfucker. I mean, to hold on to a lie than to stand with the motherfucking truth. That's what these bitches do. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go up. Yeah, I blocked that person already. Everybody's saying get Dindra, whatever the fuck name is. I agree with um Pennywise. I do too. This is what she wants, Ross. Exactly, Char. She wants this. And I try not to give it to her, but it's only so much you're going to say about my son. And I'm not going to pull the fuck up and try to chop your neck, girl. Listen, I'm trying to vicariously, or what do you call it? I'm trying to... uh. What do you call this shit, y'all? I'm trying to hurt a hoe uh, through the motherfucking internet. I'm trying to make a bitch feel my words uh, through this motherfucking internet. Don't fuck with me and leave my motherfucking son alone. Let him, and they can't stop him, so I don't like to say let him rest. Because my son is mother swinging resting. But it's just sad that, and I could quit arguing with this bitch today. And I can bet anybody, even the beautiful lady that just called me today, I can promise you guys, okay, I'm going to move on. I'm not going to address Big CC no longer. I'm going to motherfucking ignore her and watch how this bitch will attack Mac Myron or my beloved mother. Watch how she'll attack them because she's trying to anger me and she's trying to arise a conversation so I can say something to her. The same thing the bitches did before, right? Uh, she wanted your attention, uh, drag her to the court uh, with Robert. Listen, we go listen. And I had told her, even when I was ignoring her, that when that motherfucking court can't come up, if God give me the air in my body and I'm still here, oh, baby, we talking about it. Oh, we going to have great conversations about it. Uh, let me see. Both of them are jealous of you, Roz, Big CC. Uh, yeah, they are. And it's so motherfucking obvious, right? Uh, hey, Tammy, how you doing? Hey, LaWanda, exactly, Roz. 
Roz. Exactly. I, um, let me see, Roz. I hurt that hoe. I hurt that hoe. I will listen and real listen. Uh, Tammy, um, say, Roz, uh, people out here been renting for 30 years and they don't never buy a house. If I'm um, comfortable, that's where I will be. Exactly, Tammy. And I am so comfortable. I'm so cozy. My babies run back and forth to the park. We have a convenience store right there. We have multiple grocery stores. I love the locations. If my grandbabies ever have to go to school from here, I have an elementary, a junior high, and a high school all within walking, um, all in walking distance. Like this is a beautiful location. It's a billion reasons why I don't mind uh, paying for this house. And I am satisfied. But like I said, one day I may just run into bigger and better, but I will never get less. I will always go up because those are my goals, right? So I'm not in no rush and I'm not letting people, um, uh, you know, make me feel like I need to do something different. If I don't do nothing but stay right here, that's that's fine you know what I'm saying I just know that what the conversation my baby had with me and she wanted to purchase a beautiful home and she wanted to get you know put me in it um, to be comfortable right so I said okay but I'm not in a hurry I'm not calling her every day Majine you're gonna buy that house we're gonna I'm not doing that if it happened it happened if it don't it don't if I stay right here and nothing never changed I'm still happy I'm still satisfied. I'm still comfy and cozy. Like, it's okay. Uh, uh, Deb McNeil say, yep, at Feast Cornice. Uh, let me see. Uh, the Northeast Coast has been going through it these last few years. Oh, wow. Uh, Sylvia say, Sony Day, yep. Uh, let me go up, you guys. Antoinette say, hey, my beautiful uh, Sylvia Pointer. Uh, Sony Day say, she needs to tell us what happened with Miss Missy. Exactly. Hey, what happened with Miss Missy? Like, BYB will never come here. And she and I'm like, as much shit as these people talk about me, I don't have the reputation that BYB got. This why I said I cannot believe not one of those train riders have a bit of motherfucking sense. Now, what they know for a fact that's in black and white, that this bitch got 15 evictions, that this bitch live in a motherfucking barn, that this bitch don't have not nothing in her motherfucking name, that this bitch has a long, extensive record of theft. Uh-huh. And somebody sent me the information where Patches was in jail for drugs. She said Patches never dealt in drugs, but yes, he did. And I have it in black and white. I just got the maybe I'll put it in the sister circle. But they she said that she never messed with a dude that dealt with drugs and her kids and trying to make it sound bad because um I've had a couple guys that live that fast life, right? So she was trying to water me down. But Patches fat raggedy ass have drugs charges uh-huh um yeah so i'll show you but this is they know all this they know that barnyard betty was able to take advantage of an elderly woman but this bitch they over there still standing with this bitch trying to create stories to make me look bad but this bitch look bad she looks real bad that's why i say i don't give a fuck about what them train riders got to say because the bitch y'all following got a reputation that will always be worse than mine. I don't have that story, bitch. I don't have that. I don't have a problem with theft. I don't have a problem with evictions. <laughs> I don't have the story that that raggedy ass bitch got. And if y'all like her, y'all shouldn't have nothing to motherfucking say about me because my reputation is way better than motherfucking hers. Uh, let me see what's in the front and backyard. No, thank you. Ooh, Sharon. Because CC is, listen, BYB and Big CC is their house is surrounded with motherfucking dead uh, brown brush, no grass, no yard, no beauty, none of that. Dead brown brush. And BYB, we already know she got a bunch of shit that surrounds her house because those cows and pigs and horses and all the shit that the hogs, the rabbits, the all the shit that run around her house, they're shitting freely. They don't have a designated place where they shit because that's their land. That barn was their house before they put them the fuck up out of there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Deb McNeil. Uh, yes, um, they had uh, wings in their what wings in their bodies uh, was hard. Uh, they were everywhere. Uh, you can hear them. Yes, I remember that uh, when I didn't go outside. Uh, girl, they was all on the cars, porches, and everywhere. What the hell was those? Hard body and wings. Oh, that sounds like some shit I don't want to be bothered with. Hey, Sylvia 
disappointed her. Uh, Sony Day, she needs to leave this platform and get on with her life. Exactly. And if you, even if she don't leave this platform, can you, bitch, can you ever, can you talk about anything else, Big CC? Now, we know Barnyard Betty will try to have different conversations, but could Big CC ever come here and talk about anything else worth listening to? Can she do, you know how older people can be on this motherfucking app and be funny? Like it was a lady, she passed away. I forget her name and her grandkids used to come on here and help her. I forget, I cannot think of her name, but Bumpy Johnson used to really be close with them. And that lady had a lot of love, a lot of support. And I don't believe that that elderly lady had to tear not one person down or anything to that nature to be able to be very popular, right? But Big Cece, it'll never be her. See, bitch, this this is how we know you're wicked because most older people that cuss the way you cuss, they will be very popular. But that's not the story for you, oh ho. That's not the story for you, bitch. Because you, you listen, you will never be blessed because you're rooted with evilness. You're rooted in hatred, ho. That's just who you are. Hey, Lady K90, how you doing, baby? Uh, Sharon Moore, hey, Ross, Squad, everyone, hey, boo. Uh, no validation needed over here. We don't need none. Uh, no, nah, nah, moves back to California to be closer to her family. I hope she do one day, Sharon. But, you know, she went to uh, Nevada for the work. Um, it, you know, it was a lot more work out there. Um, the, the demand for attorneys was a lot higher. Um, here in California, they was really nitpicky with black young attorneys. Um, a lot of older white men um, had a lot of privilege out here in California. Uh, so my daughter went for the experience uh, and she went for the opportunity and she and she got that. But I hope one day she do move closer. I really do. Like my daughter had a place out here by me and she had a swimming pool and everything over there and it would be so nice to go over there and she would throw some things on a grill and we would sit by the pool. She know I want that again. She know I want that. I'm not going to rush her or sweat her but I would love to my baby to be closer and I'm not going any further from my family because I want to you know I want to grow old around my family too uh, Feast Courtney say Sony Day it took me one night um, in the country where I put my hand um, in front of my face and didn't see it I was <laughs> them bugs ran you out the country honey listen they would run my ass off too and I'm itchy owie hey royalty queen I'm itchy owie sneezy itchy I couldn't survive in the country, y'all. I listen. If my allergies is like this in, you know, in the city, the country will beat my ass, y'all. Uh, she's already setting her evil ways. Royalty Queen, let me pin you, baby. Because she it, I'm like, girl, you say I'm wicked. I'm the most lovingest person. I am an Aquarius. I'm the lovingest person you ever want to meet, but I will defend myself. I'm only defending myself, Big CC. You have harassed me. You have lied on me. You have talked about my loved ones that is no longer here. You have done everything under the sun. And you don't think that I'm going to come here and respond to your wickedness? Like you can move on. Like I said, I may just let this be the last time that I say anything to you because I've said all that I need to say. We know exactly who the fuck you are. I'm not hung up on talking about you. But you will still come here and fuck with me. And that's the fucked up part. Oh, Leslie Cole say, Miss Holla, yeah. Uh, talk to her much, but she never came on here talking about the deceased people, nor people, kids. Rest in peace, Miss Holla, yes. Uh, Ross, see my last comment. Hold on, okay. What's going on, baby doll? Okay, okay, Sony Day say uh, she must have forgot the dude in Georgia that uh, she visited that was her ex used to be in the game uh, came from her mouth when she first hit this good YouTube. Exactly, Sony Day. She must have forgot what she said, right? But she want to paint me out to be the woman that mess with drug dealers and bring all these people around my children. Bitch, but you got a history and so do big titty, long titty patches but this lion hoe <laughs> she forgets what the fuck she say right and i believe her daddy was if he wasn't on drugs he probably dealt with drugs because this bitch got her con artistry from some motherfucking body uh ross patches look like he arches eyebrows he must be gay patches look like a transvestite and it ain't nothing wrong with transvestite but patches look like that person went from a woman to a man. I don't know. Yes, baby doll. Mama, uh, can you give me some 
lobsters after you're done. Some lobster. Uh, not lobster. Um, what did you say to me all the time? Popsicles. And no, like what to eat. You want some watermelon? You want some fruit? No, something. You want something to eat and you don't want the pizza? No. Okay, well, go look in here and tell me what you see, okay? You tell me what you see and what you want, and you can have it. Yes, yeah, Sony Day, exactly, y'all. Uh, Vicky Stewart, say hello, Rosmas and Beautiful Squad. Hey, baby, how you doing, Vicky Stewart? Uh, let me see, Libra for a good evening, beautiful lady. Hope all is well with you and yours. Much love. Faye Kelly, you so sweet. Yes, baby. Avril, you got a headache? Oh, I don't know. I just think I just have Tylenol. You want Tylenol? Okay, go look upstairs on my nightstand and bring them down here so I can see them. Don't take one. Let me give it to you. Uh, yes, Leslie Cobra, Miss Holler. Uh, just coming in. Hey, Renee, Andrew, how you doing, baby? I'm glad you're here. I'm going to end it because my babies are starting to request things from me. So that lets me know that my time to sit here in front of this laptop is over. My Lani is looking for something to snack on before dinner. And Kylie is saying she has a headache. So I'm going to have to get and be productive with these babies. But I have to cut and say it and I don't know if this is going to be the last time I respond to the lady but I think I'm going to shut it back down you guys I will forever dog walk barnyard Betty because I can't stand that bitch and every opportunity I can remind that bitch of the loser of that she motherfucking is I am <laughs> I just I just want to this is what I'm going to do uh, barnyard Betty really came to this sector and really dirtied it up but that's what the dirty foothold do uh, she came here with a conversation that we was never having prior to that bitch being here here you go take one uh prior to her being here so i will forever dog walk her but i really think that i'm getting to my wits end with this old lady because it's not really much that i can say about this evil bitch i'm just happy that everybody over here see the play we see how it started we see how it ended we see how it's going and like i said i could ignore this bitch today and i bet you she's going to go back to attacking uh, my deceased loved ones although it don't bother me it's only so much i'm gonna tolerate right it's only so much but anyway, you guys, let me get out of here. I love you guys. Thank y'all for pulling back up on me. Uh, yep, Roz, them kids come up with all, uh, let me see, with all their requests. Uh, like, uh, let me see, uh, Mama, uh, let me see, time's up. I uh, gotta love them. But yes, Cassie, they like, okay, Mama, chum chum, come on. And I'm still, oh, that go what? Myron, come open the door for your sister. Your sister here. Hi, Miley. Miley is in the building. Miley is in the building without the twins. Hi, Miley. Okay, you guys, let me end this live. My granddaughter's walking in. I may come back later. We'll see if they let me. I love you guys having an amazing day on purpose, and I will see everybody later. Bye, guys. Bye, Miley.